So let's take a look at another example of simulation and graphics. Um, That's great. Yeah, it, Thanks, it's okay guys. to clap. <laughs> so what we've done here, this is actually three simulations in one. This was um, actually inspired or maybe an homage to uh, a demo that uh, uh, and some work that Ron FedQ and the folks at Stanford did a couple years ago, and in fact published a paper. Um, our simulation is, a, is an approximation of that. We actually do three different kinds of simulation here. We have a, a multi-grid height field fluid simulation driving the fundamental ocean simulation and the waves that crash. We have about a half a million particles that do the spray and the foam. Um, and then we have a two-way coupled rigid body system that is the debris in the ocean. All of that, of course, is rendered in real time with creative lighting, dynamic shadows, the, the, the light from the lighthouse actually you know, casts light onto not just the ocean, but the particles in the spray itself. Um, and again, since this is all real time, we can manipulate it. So why don't we go ahead and um, maybe grab a boat and slosh it around in the water, well, or in the water, there you go. And you can see that it actually is it's coupled, so it impacts the, the flow of the water. You can put objects into the waves, it'll change the, the course of the waves. Um, this simulation, again, it's uh, fully volumetric. Um, and from a you know, real-time perspective, we can pan around and look at it from different lighting angles. Um, this is the kind of thing that we would expect to see coming in next generation real-time games, for example. It's uh, completely possible to do this, in fact, entirely on a single GPU. And in fact, that's what we're doing here. Um, we're using a single GPU to drive the entire simulation. So this is a, a practical thing, probably in the not too distant future, for real-time class games. Uh, again, this. To put this in comparison, um, the simulations that the, the FedQ Lighthouse demo uh, took uh, about three minutes per frame on a rack of four core Opterons, and we're running this in real time in stereo, so we're about 5,000 times faster. Now, we're not doing exactly the same kind of simulation, but in terms of you know, an interesting approximation, that's, um, that's pretty good stuff. Now, these are, these are all tech demos, but in the final analysis, I mean, the algorithms you guys, you guys are using to simulate physics here is basically the same algorithms that scientists would use to, or, or engineers would use to simulate whatever physical world that they're trying to, to uh, simulate. That's exactly right. It's just, you would just crank them up to the next level of fidelity, you use more precision, you just move more particles or uh, a higher resolution grid, that kind of thing. That's mm -hmm. exactly right. So last year, last year, the smoke demo you guys did was about 250,000 particles or something like that, and the smoke looked almost like sand floating in space, and now it's smoke looks like smoke, looks like and smoke mist and looks fluid. like mist. That's exactly That's really right. terrific. Yeah. Well, your team did a great job. Great. Tony, thank you Thanks very much. much. Thanks, everyone.